So you may have seen the headlines in mainstream media, the media that Trump calls fake media, but is actually the real media, in which it is being reported now officially that Fannie Willis in Georgia is convening a grand jury so that she can get testimony from people who are so far refusing to cooperate with her investigation into Trump's malfeasance during the 2020 post-election period when he was effectively trying to steal the election in Georgia by asking the Secretary of State to just, as he put it, flip the state and just give me the votes. You'll remember this is what he said. So, look, all I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes which is one more that we have because we won the state and flipping the state is a great testament to our country because you know and this this there's just a, it's a testament that they can admit to a mistake or whatever you want to call it if it was a mistake i don't know uh, uh no sir the mistake was letting a cockroach like you anywhere near the presidency that was the mistake now, as far as the timing of these headlines, what I can tell you is that it correlates quite precisely with the astrological panorama because in addition to all the big planet transits that I've described in prior videos, which are giving them a really hard time, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Eris, basically all of them. In addition to that, the day-to-day -day transits are now uh, becoming a problem as well because when you look at the fast-moving Sun, Mercury, Moon, you see that in the case of Saturn opposing its Pluto in the late stages of December, it's moving past those degrees now, but then the Sun and Mercury pull it back and point it at that Pluto for an extended period, which goes from the uh, late days of January that we're in now, right in through February as well. And when you look at the Moon, the fast moving Moon, the fastest body that we track astrologically. Isn't it amazing to see it today in the late degrees of Libra transiting in its chart such that it opposes the transiting Eris and squares the transiting Pluto. All of this is pointing to its 12th sign Venus Saturn, especially the Venus. This is exactly what you would expect in terms of you know, running into a heavy blow, something negative. And you can guarantee that he's not happy today. There is no way he's happy with those transits. But if you ask, well, where is this going? Nowhere good. Nowhere good. The year is going to continue in this way. And I would say he's not going to enjoy it. But for us, it will probably be entertaining. But I would say we deserve a little bit of entertainment after the years this guy has put the country through. Wouldn't you think?